Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I'm a full-time content creator and I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And if you guys are not new here, you may have noticed that my hair is looking a little bit different. I recently had it cut and dyed at Honey Hair Co. here in Pittsburgh. We went for like a really dark brown, kind of like my natural color, but a little bit darker and added some curtain bangs and a couple more layers in the front. And I am obsessed with it. I had a balayage for like three to four years. So it was definitely time for a change. So in today's video, I am going to be taking you guys along with me to do some plant shopping. We are also going to head to Target where I can hopefully find a new like closet rack unit thing because my other one that I had broke recently. So I need to replace that. And then I also want to show you guys my new rugs. I have four beautiful new rugs in my apartment. So let's go ahead and first head to the store. <music> Okay, so I just finished up at Target. They did not have the closet rack that I wanted, or at least they didn't have it in the color that I wanted. I wanted a white closet rack, but um, they only had closet racks in black. So I went ahead and just picked up one that was like nine bucks. It was a steal. Apparently they reduced like the price of it recently. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up at home. And um, if it seems like it's good quality and it's gonna work well, then I'll just go ahead and keep it. So now I'm here at Home Depot and I'm gonna do some plant shopping and then we'll head home after that. <music> Okay, so I ended up getting myself these two little baby cacti. I really wanted to find some bigger cacti, but Home Depot usually has more like um, golden potho, snake plants, uh, lots of like majesty palms, things like that. They don't usually have big cacti, but I was hoping that they would maybe have some um, since we're now going to be going into summer. But all they had were these like small baby ones, which is fine because um, they'll eventually grow. But yeah, I'm definitely super excited about these two new little cacti babies. If you guys didn't know, I'm obsessed with cacti. Okay, so here's the garment rack. Just need to put it together. That's what it looks like. And I picked it up in the black color. Unfortunately, they didn't have this one in white, which I find kind of weird because it seems like Target would definitely at least have like a few different color options. But that's okay because... I feel like the black will still coordinate pretty well and I'm just going to put it together and make sure that it's definitely stronger than my last one before I completely settle on it. So the other one that I had from Amazon was pretty wobbly from the beginning and I should have just returned it, but I didn't. So I definitely don't want to just keep on buying closet racks and having them not be the greater quality. So I'm hoping that since this one's from Target, it'll at least be a little bit better quality. And if not, I'll just be able to like return it easier. So we'll see, fingers crossed. And here are my cute little succulents, which I'll be planting a little bit later. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys my new rugs. So I'll just kind of like walk you around my apartment and also show some before and afters that I filmed. But I kind of wanted to like talk about the rugs a little bit and why I selected the ones that I did and just like my design choices there. So here is the bedroom rug. I love that it's like a very simple neutral rug because it will definitely be able to go with various different styles should I choose to like switch out my comforter at some point. I'm loving the orange color right now though. It's kind of funny actually because I spent almost a week deciding on the rug patterns and rug sizes. And I actually think that I went with one size too big for the bedroom rug. I had even like laid it out like with tape measure and everything to make sure that I would like it. But I don't know like what happened. I ended up going with the bigger size I had been debating and I wish I'd gone with the smaller size because the rug actually was like touching this corner, I'll show you guys really quick. 
basically the rug was like coming out at an awkward length to where it was like barely touching my little chair there and i just didn't like how that looked so that's kind of why i threw the cowhide rug there because it does kind of make that corner like a little bit more boho feeling but then it also kind of like hid from the fact that my rug was like an awkward length it's also because of like this room like the way that the room's shaped um it's just kind of funny because if this had been like a straight wall instead then it would have been totally fine so a little bit tricky with like our loft apartment um all of like the funny corners and stuff <laughs> So for the dining room, I went for a lighter rug as well, which I think is a great contrast to the super dark vinyl floors. And this rug has kind of like an Aztec type print to it, but it's still pretty simple. It's not too like crazy or anything. And I think it ties in super well with my prints here on the wall. And the colors also really complement some of the colors in my table runner. It turned out to be the perfect size and it really ties in the dining area and, dining area and kind of separates it from the rest of the kitchen, which is great. And I also added this cute little straw hat here on the wall. I may end up adding like another one right below it, which I think would be really cute. I just thrifted that the other week actually and then kind of have a blank wall here i'm debating what to put on this wall maybe i've got like a really cool macrame wall hanging on that wall so something like that would be cool like a big art print maybe like another wall hanging or just like a plant that would kind of fill in that space we'll see <music> Okay, so in the living room, I went for two red-ish toned rugs. They're both very bohemian, which is what I'm going for. And I like that they coordinate together, but they help to separate these two areas. I wanted this area to be more of like a reading nook slash coffee area. I have some furniture ordered, uh, one of which is a little end table to go in between the two just to make it easier for, you know, setting down our coffee and stuff. And then I have this thrifted lamp here and a lampshade that I thrifted recently that I thought would be perfect for it, but it actually doesn't fit with like the kind of um, lamp that this is. Kind of hard to explain. So i'll have to look for possibly a new lampshade or try to figure out how to get that one to work somehow but back to the rugs i picked a slightly smaller rug for this area just because i didn't want it intruding into this space too much and then and then this rug just defines like the living room like couch seating area all four of these rugs are actually from ruggable so they come with like a non-slip rug pad which is super nice and they're actually machine washable as well so great for if you have pets right indio <laughs> these rugs definitely have that like 70s boho feel and i love that they still coordinate really nicely with my other two lighter colored rugs These rugs are from Ruggable and if you guys are in the market for some new rugs I actually have a discount code that you guys can use to save a little bit on a new rug from Ruggable. Okay guys I'm gonna go ahead and end this video but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did please give it a thumbs up and if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already please consider subscribing for more thrifting, home, and styling videos and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.